Hey, yo, 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 what up guys? Welcome back to another one and today this is a huge, huge requested video from you guys. I don't know if I've ever had a video that was so requested before. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make a simple, cheap, jerk rig now i do have a jerk rig that i've used for years and years and years but let me tell you it's all beat up it's all tangled up it's all knotted up so i'm gonna bring you guys along and we're gonna go to the store we're gonna try to save our money as best as possible and buy all the essential necessities to build our jerk rig today i'm gonna show you how much it costs but we're gonna try to keep it cheap i like cheap you like cheap we all like cheap right so we'll definitely be needing these because i'm gonna be getting in the water but we're also going to need this bad boy. Yep, this is the duck's pocket knife. I know a lot of you have seen it, but I haven't showed you guys in a while. So we do have these back on the side and available. They are nice. They fit in your pocket extremely well, and they're only like 25 bucks. So if you want to support the channel, go pick up one. You guys know where to pick this up. I will link this knife in the description below. Go check them out. But let's get on the road. We are going to go buy our jerk cord essentials. Essentials. Sorry. Essentials. Well, we are here at Wally World, and uh, this is where we're going to get a lot of our essentials. But I wanted to show you guys real quick. I haven't showed you our decals. We have the old Ducks decals in stock. Go grab you some. I will link those down below, but you know me. I've said it before. I go through the garden section on this still. This is going to get weird. We're going to get some looks. I'm going to get some looks that I've probably never got before. So, uh, yep. Got two looks already. So, garden section, baby. Avoid people at all cost. Take the old back way. Take the old back way. That's what I do every time. Well, this is the first item up. These are trout line clips, and I have seen these, but I haven't used these before, and they are perfect. It comes with 25 of them, so it'll give me some extra. They're only $4, $4.28, so I will show you guys these here in a bit. I'll take them out of the package. And then we're going to get a big roll, which is 300 foot long, of the green 330 pound tensile strength uh, nylon rope. And uh, it's sit line, so it's nylon sit line, and it's 866, a bit more than I wanted to spend, but it's pretty good stuff, and I'll have some extra to work with. These two things are about the only things that I'm going to need here from Walmart. We're going to have to stop by Home Depot on uh, the way out of here, and we're going to have to buy a piece of PVC, then we're going to have to go home and we're going to have to cut it, and we'll get to that. But, well definitely a little more pricey than I was expecting but guys to be honest I have all this stuff at home and uh, I have some old leftover stuff that I could have just whipped up and made uh, you know easily for free basically just because I had bought it a long time ago but I wanted to take you guys to Walmart I wanted to show you guys what exactly you need if you don't have everything at home laying around like I do I have years and years and years of shelves of just old non-used hardware, string, fishing stuff. So I have all this at home, but again, I wanna take you guys along for the ride. I wanna show you exactly what you need to be buying. So if you appreciate that, you know what to do. Drop your boy a big old thumbs up. Don't want anybody stealing the wheels. Well, we are here at Home Depot like I promised. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to buy some PVC. So yeah, there's someone looking at me over, over here somewhere. Do you see him? Gonna have to buy a stick of PVC. Like I said, I have the PVC at home already, but I wanna show you guys how much it costs and show you exactly what you need. So, here we go. PVC, are you down here? Are you down here? Oh no, I don't see no PVC. Oh, yeah, that's why I'm not in the plumbing aisle. Hm. One over. Yep, there we go, right there. Oh yeah, now we're talking, now we're talking. We got the half inch uh, PVC pipe here. It's actually only $1.85 for a 10 foot stick. So this is, uh, this is what we're gonna be working with here. $1.85, I don't need 10 foot. And like I said, I have some at home already, but I wanted to buy it and show you guys exactly what to get. So half inch PVC, $1.85 for 10 foot. You can probably make two jerk rigs easily out of all this that I got. You're definitely gonna get two poles out of a 10 foot stick of PVC. So 
$1.85, that's cheap. $2.02, that's not bad, that's actually pretty darn cheap. There we go, right there. So right now we're about 20 bucks in it, pretty much. A hair over 20 bucks, but we'll just call it 20 bucks even. You don't want to make them too tall to where they stick way out of the water. They can stick out of the water about yay far. It just depends on where you're hunting and how deep your water is. So, it can stick out of the water, but just a little bit. Alright, I really don't recommend uh, using a miter saw to cut PVC, but if you go really slow, you can do it just I don't recommend it. If you use any type of electric saw, make sure you got that eyewear on. Like me and these old goggles. <laughs> but this is what I did. I shanked the end off so it goes into the ground a lot easier. Just like a stake. Now I'm just going to drill me a hole near the top. Like so. So I got my hole drilled on the top and that's where we're going to attach our string. Now the reason why I like PVC is because it bends a lot. So when you have this in the mud, and you have your string attached to the top, you can imagine pulling on it, it's just going to give you a lot of movement ability. It's not going to be tight, it's not going to be taunt to where it's just like, mm -mm, there's no movement. So this PVC really flexes a bunch and lets you get a lot of movement out of them decoys. So, since I have Texas rigs on my decoys, I can use these clamps already. If you guys already have Texas rigs, don't buy the trout line clamps. If you just have bare decoys with no Texas rigs or anything on them, no string, no nothing, that's when you want to buy those trout line clips. So we're going to go ahead and unravel what we think, uh, you know, length that we really need. I'm guessing I'm probably going to need about a, I don't know, we're going to make it pretty long. Basically, you don't have to cut it. You never have to really cut this if you don't want to, guys. Where I have it tied off here, I'm going to go about, oh, let's say five foot from where our pole will be. Five to six foot, I'm going to tie a knot. I'm going to go another four foot, I'm going to tie a knot. I'm going to go another four foot, I'm going to tie a knot. I'm going to go another four foot, and I'm going to tie a knot. So, it's going to give me roughly 20 to 30 foot. About four decoys. I, I like to give them a lot of room, spread them out. I never really have more than four decoys on my jerk rig. It's about all you need. So here's our first knot, guys. All I'm going to do is just literally make a loop and tie a knot. So now, that's a little long there, but it will work. So now we have a loop to tie to our decoy. This is where our decoy will attach on the line. So, I'm going to tie three more of them knots, and I'll show you what's up. Like I said, go about four to five foot, tie another one. Alright, so I got all four knots tied, and uh, I'm not going to cut it off the reel. I'm going to leave it on that spool for now, because you never know how long you're going to need it. What I mean, guys, is where your blind is, according to where you have your decoys and your pole at in the water, it might need to be 50 yards, it might need to be 60 yards, it may only need to be 20 or 30 yards long, so I'm not going to cut that yet. I probably won't cut it. But check it out, our PVC pole is dried. She looks good. If you paint them, it's just like a mojo pole, it's green, they're not going to notice it in the water, as long as you paint them. Having them tall, this way it keeps your arms out of the water, having to put a pole down under the water, getting your clothes wet in your arms. We don't do that, it's too cold for that type of stuff in the winter. Well, we are here at the pond. I'm probably gonna get scared by a big old carp. Here's our puddle again. This is where we're gonna put up the jerk rig and I'm gonna show you guys how she works. Well, 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 we are all done setting up the decoys and I like what we got going on because for one, I am very, very glad that I left that PVC pretty long. I advise you guys that's going to be hunting a lot of silty, silty ponds and marshes to leave them about five foot long, and here's why. As you can see, I shoved, I was able to shove it down really deep. I tied my string to the top, so that's where that hole comes in effect. You want to put that hole to the side that you're pulling on, so this is what's going to be happening. 
Now, like I said, it's extremely silty, so that pull went in a long ways, which is good. So here we are, we got our decoys out, and uh, as you can see, this is our row here of uh, jerk rig decoys. So I'll show you what I got going on here. Where I put the loops on the rope is where I tied them to the clasp. Like I said, I have Texas rigs on these decoys already, so I'm just using the clasp that's already with the Texas rigs. If you guys don't have Texas rigs or clasps, that's why I told you to buy the trout line clips. So, but I got them on here, like I said, there's one about every five to six foot. Just depends on what size of spread you guys are running. If you're running two, three dozen decoys, maybe you're gonna want five or six decoys on a jerk line. But another tip, if you're gonna be hunting with two, three, four guys, and you're gonna be running two to three dozen decoys, today we bought enough material to make two of these jerk rigs. So a guy on each end of the blind could be running them. Just gives you more motion, and you're not relying on just one guy to do it, because let me tell you, when you need to be pulling it, you're just constantly pulling it, making it look realistic. So with what we bought today, for 20 bucks, you can make two of these jerk rigs. So just keep that in mind. Again, I didn't cut the spool because I'm able to unclip all the ducks and just roll it right back up. It literally just stays like this. So if I need it to be 200 foot long, which I doubt I'll ever need it to be that long, I have the ability to do so. So I'm gonna zoom into about there and watch the action of that PVC pull out there. I mean, it just looks gorgeous. Look at that. Not too much, but it looks good. As you can tell, just look at the swirls in the water it gives. That was just four or five pulls was it. That PVC really pulls them back, as you can tell. See, I have it pulled. Watch when I let go. So that PVC is just like a spring. You don't need to use a bungee cord or something like that. That PVC will do the trick for you. I'm telling you, PVC is extremely, extremely springy. That's what this is all about, is just creating movement. Real lifelike movement rather than a spinning wing decoy. I can tell you jerk rigs are 10 times more important than a mojo or spinning wing decoy. And you can make them this easy. 20 bucks will get you two of them. And if you have any of this hardware or supplies in your garage or your dad has any leftover products or something, I'm sure you can make it for much less. But the PVC, I'm telling you, it acts like its own spring. It really pulls them back. So you just have to pull it and let go, pull it and let go. It makes it really easy rather than having a bungee on there. Those bungees, once they get wet and dry time and time again, a bungee strap, they just, they'll end up breaking. But a PVC pole, you'll never have an issue with it. Cut them long for silty areas, run them five or six foot long. You can really smash them down in there. You're good to go. But here's that PVC pole in action. You know, as I pull it and as I let go, it just really pulls it back and forth. It's like a spring, like I said. So that is the advantage of using a PVC pole. Okay, I'm done saying PVC pole. It's getting weird. So we got all the decoys picked up here. I want to show you this real quick. That spool of nylon string has a hole in it and it fits perfectly on our half inch PVC pipe. So when you roll it up, it stays all in one piece. So that is pretty killer. Again, I want to thank you guys for subscribing. I want to thank you, all you beginners out there. Thank you so much for dropping your comments down below and letting me know what videos you want me to do and what you want to see. Because without you guys, I'd be lost. Just like this one, it was a highly requested video. Whatever you guys want to see, drop it down below. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to go support your boy and pick up something from Ducks. I'll link everything down in the description. Everything from what I used here to all the Ducks apparel. Thank you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.